couple, are there a couple projects that stand out to you that maybe we could just walk the audience through to sort of give them that real world example uh, of what SCS does? Absolutely. Um, so one of the first projects that uh, I want to talk about is uh, we, we deal a lot in pulp and paper and, um, uh, and in the South and especially in the Southeast, a lot of the, we, we process pine trees, mm. a lot of pine trees. They're everywhere down here. Not a lot of hardwood. And uh, so what happens is, uh, and it's very common in pulp and paper, is a lot of the dust and debris sticks to the belt mm. after it's the belt discharges the material. Well, the problem with that is that that material gets, they call it carry back because it literally gets carried back through the system. And what ends up happening is it's several things. Number one, that carry back adds extra wear to the belt itself. It adds extra wear to the components on the system itself. Uh, it actually puts more stress on the drive system because now you're adding more material. Uh, it, and then the last part of it is you have a major safety and housekeeping issue. And so a lot of times under these uh, conveyors, you'll see mountains of material. Now, if it's you know, at a rock quarry, it's more of a nuisance than anything. But it's say at a paper mill, mm. that's flammable yeah. because you have uh, moving parts, creating friction, and those uh, wood chips, that dust, it can be flammable, and it'll start uh, a fire, which could be catastrophic. Um, uh, there's a major pulp and paper operator in the Pacific Northwest who had a major fire about a month and a half ago, and it shut down their their flagship mill. I mean, it took days for them to put that fire out. So what we had is we found a, and I say we, one of our uh, field solutions managers found a particular situation where the entire underside of this conveyor was uh, – packed in with sawdust, wood chips, I mean, from the tail all the way to the head. And packed in so far, it was it was making contact on the return side of the belt. It was encapsulating the return idlers. Um, so uh, we made a suggestion, a recommendation as a company, on to utilize a very specific type belt cleaner. It's called a Bronco br a brush cleaner. ASCO Manufacturing uh, makes this cleaner, and this cleaner is uh, it is a rubber brush, and it's the brush itself has rubber fingers on there. They're they're uh, they're uh, high abrasion resistant fingers, and they it brushes it runs on a motor about a, a one and a half horsepower motor and it brushes against the grain of the belt as it passes through mm -hmm. and you think well maybe i'm not sure if that'll do much good so uh they put that brush on there and you you know we had some before and after pictures and the before pictures you could see in the pattern and the path where the material was on the belt it was stuck to the belt and all down the belt line it was nothing but uh, tramp material from the head to the tail. And then after we put that in and they cleaned up one time, uh, the belt is, it's really impressive. It's incredibly clean. They don't have any tramp material on the return side. So not only did we eliminate a potential uh, safety hazard, we've also freed up their personnel uh, to go on to other maintenance items versus having to do cleanup. Uh, we've helped uh, extend the life of the belt and the components all by installing this one belt cleaner. You know, there's there are a lot of cleaners out there and there are a lot of options, but what we did as a company is we let's say this is the best option for this application. This is not necessarily off the shelf. This is the best option. And uh as it turns out, it's working quite well. Yeah, buddy, to add to that, I believe that customer just uh highlighted that application and that product and their best practices conference that mm -hmm. they just had what i'm being told 